Welcome to this uh, plasma system. It's my um, educational plasma SSD. Remember that we had the November plasma challenge. It's already in January. And it has been a while since I've been on this SSD. So let's first update and um, then uh, show you and tell you what has changed. So we need to update the system. It has been a while, yes. I've added a lot of files, it says here. Fine. Syncing is done. 577. It's not nothing. Total installed size. Look at the sheer number. And what is happening? 40 megabyte less. Yes. There are lots of things coming in. Also QT5 things. So um, this may crash your system. I've done that in another SSD and uh, the plasma just went all black. Never mind, just wait till the update ends and reboot if that happens. What else? I suppose we'll have our Linux kernel somewhere in there since it was before the year 2019. Lots of stuff, right? Do you need to know all these names? Yes and no. I mean, take a look at it. At some point in time, you will recognize the most important ones. For instance, I'm still looking for the Linux one. It's somewhere in here. Linux firmware, there we have a part, and this is the one that we're gonna need. Launched 31st of December, 2018. So that's gonna be installed as well. And a lot of Arch Linux stuff about which we need to talk a little bit so where everything everything is installing so we saw a kernel so let's just do our update I think there are some issues so we can solve them in this video and then reboot to let a new kernel take its effect and then continue our tutorial Okay, I finished uh, installing here. And what we'll do next is check out if there are issues with this command. So if the update has gone all right, then we need to install the stuff coming from AWAR. So the Arch user repository, and these elements will all come from there. And this one in particular, I've made already a video and it cannot hurt. No, it's this one. It cannot hurt if we um, make another one of make show what to do in this one so a lot of stuff needs to be installed and at some point in, in time it gets stuck it tells you what to do but nevertheless let's uh, show you what you need to do let's wait for the error and i think it's gonna be pretty soon but i'm pausing anyway Right after let's say 10 minutes or so we get this error failed to commit transaction conflicting files and it says exactly what you need to do it says here user share icons Unix circle icon theme cache exists already and the cache is just actually not necessary it's, it you can live without it so basically we just need to remove this obstructing file user share you don't need to type everything use your tab and you mix capital letters are important otherwise I will not find it and then I can think cache that's it and then install it again and then it will pass this file that he wants to overwrite a file he wants to write a file but there is already a file so Pacman stops because he thinks something went wrong that's not normal I'm overwriting something that exists already so there you go, we've installed everything. And um, let's conclude this in this video as well. I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't need it. Minus R. It's no longer on the next ISO as well, it's orphaned. So, so you know already. So that's out. So when you do this, that's the only thing I'm now getting and that's okay. All right, that's um, the video for the update. So there is a Linux kernel coming in, control alt T. 
I am still on 19.4. So I missed a few um, kernels on this SSD. So I'm jumping now to 20.1.